All right, it's a rainy Oregon coast Sunday, so today is a good day to uh, work inside the bus on a project I've been wanting to do for quite a while, which is replace some old fluorescent tubes with modern LEDs. The ingredients for this project are an individually addressable LED strip, this is a SK6812 RGBW. Uh, I got the warm white version of this. Got this off of Amazon. A Wemos D1 Mini. And a 12 volt to 5 volt buck converter. Um, all in all, this is a very inexpensive project to do. Um, this, I got a three pack of these for about nine bucks. Uh, these are only, uh, you know, a dollar or two each. And this is five meters here. It's about 15 feet of LED strip. Uh, if you want to wait for this to come from China, you can get this for $29.95. It took two months. Uh, I got it off of Amazon for about twice that price. Um, this, the advantage of this setup is that this little guy here, this has got Wi-Fi on it and Bluetooth, and you can control this with your phone. Um, it also enables you, if you have multiple ones of these, to have them all come on at the same time or not you can control them with a home automation system like home assistant uh, there is a free app for your iPhone and Android that enables you to also control these lights um, individually addressable means that um, as opposed to an LED strip where the entire strip is one color um, each of these little LEDs are individually controllable. Now, it's going to be rare that I'm going to use it like that. Most of the time, it'll just be white and dimmed. You know, probably not full intensity unless we really want bright light for working on something. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a cool project. The uh, software that we're going to load on here, that I already loaded on here, is called WLED. Um, it's available on GitHub for free. Uh, you use the micro USB cable, you hook this up to your computer, and you download the software onto there. <clears throat> it's really simple to do, it only takes a couple minutes. Uh, there's many you know, instructions and videos available on how to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, I had this, I had this done in like five minutes, including downloading the software, plugging it into my computer, and downloading the program onto this little board. So uh, this guy runs on five volts. You know, we got twelve volts in the bus. Uh, this is five volts. So um, I'm gonna wire this up so that uh, you know we don't fry anything. All right, so here's what we got going on now. Um, so this will take my 12 volt in. The 5 volt out goes into the LED strip. So the LED strip's got a separate 5 volt in because of the power requirements of that strip. So here's that, here's ground. Uh, the ground goes to a momentary contact switch that's going to get mounted up there. The momentary contact switch grounds this pin on the D1 Mini. And when that gets grounded, you can program what that does, whether it power cycles it, or 
long press, short press, toggle some modes and stuff like that. Uh, we have five volts coming into this here. This, this will attach to the LED strip here, which has got five volts, ground and data. The middle one's the data and uh, that's here. And so all this is going to get mounted to this plate, this metal plate, and go up under the window inside this cubby here. And that momentary switch will get mounted there. And we're just about to the point where we get to do the smoke test. So this is what the brains of the operation looks like right here. So there was previously a fluorescent ballast mounted to this aluminum plate here. And so I just repurposed that and mounted the buck converter and the controller to that. Um, so we've got, you know, 12 volt coming in over here. We've got the three wires coming out of this guy for the LED and the one going to the blue wire goes to the momentary contact switch down on the other end down there and when you press the switch it grounds that wire momentarily okay in honor of Independence Day I finally figured out how to make a red white and blue pattern on here all right so here's what it looks like at night with the warm white kind of setting and that's compared to a fluorescent there so it's not bad it's not quite the same light output, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do the uh, 4th of July setting. This is what the Independence Day mode looks like that I set, red, white, and blue. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I've got to do two more of these strips. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I've already done the one over the couch. I've got to do one over the dining room table, and I've got to do one in the kitchen. So those will be more difficult just because of their location, but the process should be the same. Um, there's many good tutorials already on WLED out there on YouTube. So. You know, it's not really necessary for me to go over all of that. Um, maybe I'll include a link in the description of uh, the tutorial that I used to do this. Thanks for watching.